Hello friends, welcome to the King YouTube channel. Everyone dreams that the life of a prince and duchess is a fairy tale filled with endless joy and grand palaces. But for Harry and Meghan, it feels more like a never-ending drama. With their transcontinental flights and media battles, this couple never ceases to keep us entertained. The latest twist in their story will make you wonder if they'll ever break free from this tangled web. Meghan Markle is reportedly urging Prince Harry to step away from stress and media chaos due to his recent struggles, including family health issues and court battles. Harry has made short trips to the UK but stays distant from his family, which deeply troubles him. Meghan is pushing for a complete media detox to help Harry recover. Despite his challenges, Harry wishes to settle permanently in the UK, but Meghan's hesitation to return complicates things. Harry needs to not only quit his media addiction, but also tackle his drug issues. Life in Los Angeles and Hollywood seems to pull him into harmful traps rather than helping him stay healthy. Meghan Markle, with her mix of nerves and humor, thinks that stepping away from the spotlight and finding herself might solve their problems. It's more than just avoiding the press or seeking peace. It's about rebuilding a life filled with drama and scandal. Harry has to heal from the emotional wounds of his troubled family and his personal struggles. Meghan, who always managed to stay in the spotlight, now advises Harry to lay low and steer clear of trouble. She believes a quiet summer and detox might be the answer, but will it truly help? Or is it just another false hope in their tangled story? The truth is, Harry chose to leave, and we shouldn't be responsible for his security. Most of the public doesn't accept him or his family. Other working royals only get protection while they're working, and we don't want Harry and Meghan here, even as working royals. Harry's supposed hefty workload seems to be his wife finding him proper professional advice. It looks like she's just aiming to keep Harry away from everything, letting her increase control and stay in the spotlight. It's a poor me, my husband is unwell scenario, with Harry and their kids as mere props. His so-called busy schedule is laughable. He doesn't understand the meaning of work, and his hectic schedule is all about making money from lawsuits and freeloading. He also has to cater to his wife, who seems to turn every situation into a drama-filled spectacle. Megan, with her flair for theatrics, seems less interested in genuine family reconciliation and more focused on maintaining her public image and influence. It's almost comical how Harry's busy life revolves around lawsuits and playing the perpetual victim, while Megan orchestrates their every move from behind the scenes. Their so-called need for a detox seems like a desperate attempt to escape the chaos they've created for themselves. One can't help but wonder if Harry's struggle isn't just with his family or the media, but with the reality that his life has become a series of poorly scripted episodes in a reality show no one asked for. The irony is rich Harry, once a prince with endless opportunities, now finds himself stuck in a loop of self-pity and public embarrassment. Meanwhile, Meghan's constant demands and manipulations only add fuel to the fire. They seek solace from the very spotlight they continually step back into, creating a cycle of drama that is both exhausting and self-inflicted. It begs the question, will Harry ever break free from this farcical existence and find true purpose? Or is he destined to remain a pawn in Meghan's relentless quest for attention and relevance? Only time will tell if they can pull themselves out of this tangled mess, or if they will continue to be subjects of public ridicule and endless tabloid fodder. My hope is that they remain trapped in the smoke and mirrors they've created to garner sympathy. After everything they've done, it's too little, too late. Meghan has finally driven Harry over the edge. The facade they've, they've built is crumbling, and the public is no longer buying into their narrative of victimhood and redemption. Their attempts to garner sympathy come off as hollow and disingenuous. The damage is done, and no amount of media detox or public relations spin can undo the chaos they've unleashed. Harry's descent into a world of lawsuits and media battles has stripped him of his former charm and relatability. He's no longer the carefree prince who captured hearts with his genuine smile and adventurous spirit. Instead, he's a man lost in a sea of bitterness and regret, unable to navigate the complexities of the life he's chosen. As Meghan continues to orchestrate their public appearances and statements, it becomes increasingly clear that her influence is more destructive than supportive. Her ambition, while admirable in small doses, has driven a wedge between Harry and everything he once held dear. Friends, family, and even loyal supporters have been cast aside in the wake of her unrelenting drive for control. 
This tragic trajectory raises an uncomfortable question. Is Harry's life now a cautionary tale of what happens when personal ambition and the quest for public sympathy override genuine relationships and self-awareness? Only time will tell if they can find a path to redemption or if they will remain trapped in this cycle of self-inflicted turmoil. For now, the facade they built is crumbling and the public's patience is wearing thin. The once beloved prince and his duchess must confront the reality they've created or risk fading into obscurity, remembered not for their contributions or potential, but for the relentless drama and discord they've sown. How much further can Harry fall before he reaches rock bottom? The sympathy they seek is unlikely to materialize as the world watches their self-inflicted drama with a mix of disbelief and derision. What healing. He brought all this on himself, starting with getting glued to Her Majesty, Queen Mumbo Jumbo of Nigeria. For starters, they're both just beginning to realize that socially they are now pariahs and irrelevant. But this is the Harry who told the world that he found freedom and only had sympathy for his father and brother who were trapped and could not leave. He proceeded to say he had never been happier. So what happened? Harry is nearly 40 years old, not 12. He made the decision to move his family to Montecito. Choices have consequences. Grow up, Harry, and stop playing the victim card. Millions move overseas with their families and get on with their lives. Harry's continual public airing of grievances has only served to deepen the divide between him and his family, as well as alienate a public that once held him in high regard. His relentless pursuit of media attention, combined with Meghan's calculated moves, has transformed their once promising story into a cautionary tale of how not to handle personal and familial challenges in the public eye. It is high time for Harry to take responsibility for his actions, acknowledge the consequences of his decisions, and start rebuilding his life with a focus on genuine connections and personal growth rather than public validation and media battles. Only then can he hope to find the peace and fulfillment he claims to seek. Maybe Harry is just now realizing the immense cost of living the independent life they desire. The Netflix deal doesn't seem to be renewing, and Spotify has parted ways with them. He must be questioning where the money will come from to sustain their lifestyle private jets, expensive hotels, holidays, security, private school fees, and a large mortgage. Perhaps that's why Megan is resorting to selling jam hoping for something big to turn up and be successful, or they'll find themselves needing to reconcile with Charles for financial support. It's a mistake to pit a partner against their own family, regardless of past grievances. There are always two sides to every story. Personally, I married a white American man from the South, and being brown wasn't easy. Practicing detachment has helped me gain respect. Despite past resentments, I never stood between him and his blood relatives. Family dynamics can be complicated and often defy simple solutions. Preserving dignity is usually more valuable than ignoring conflicts. Regarding the media coverage of Harry and Meghan, it's unclear who leaked information about Harry's struggles and mental health issues, causing speculation and concern. If similar information about Meghan had leaked, it would likely have sparked significant controversy. Many people believe that for the sake of his health, Harry needs to take a break not just from the media, but from Meghan herself. She's seen as the catalyst behind Harry's strained relationships with his family, preventing him from staying connected. Allegations suggest that she leaks information to various media outlets, leading to months of negative publicity focused on Meghan's behavior and actions, complicating their public image and PR strategies. Harry might not react positively to this story, and he won't be able to blame the palace or William for its publication. There's a perception that Harry is under the influence of his wife, Meghan, who is often described as narcissistic. She may have allowed him to visit his father, but only for a restricted period of 28 hours. It's widely believed that Meghan doesn't prioritize her own father, despite his health challenges. The fact that Harry hadn't met her father before their marriage was seen as unusual and likely raised eyebrows within the royal family. For royal weddings, arrangements are usually made for family members from both sides to travel to the event, ensuring they have accommodations and appropriate attire, especially for those coming from outside the UK. Many men in the U.S. may not have the formal suits required for U.K. weddings, which could present a logistical challenge. It's unclear who was responsible for arranging a suit for Mr. Markle for the royal wedding. Normally, measurements would be taken and a suit prepared for him, especially given the formality of such events. However, it seems Mr. Markle took matters into his own hands, arranging things himself and even allowing a photographer to document the process, likely to satisfy public curiosity about his attire for the wedding. 
As for Harry's financial situation, he did inherit a significant amount of money, including allowances from Prince Charles while he was in the UK. However, when Harry and Meghan stepped back from their royal duties and moved away, there were changes to their financial arrangements. This included the cessation of certain allowances and privileges associated with their roles in the monarchy. This change in financial support may have been unexpected for Harry, especially since he had been accustomed to the financial provisions that supported his previous lifestyle as a working royal. It seems Meghan did not want a supporting role in the UK, despite it being more high profile than anything she had ever done before. She believed they could earn much more money to live extravagantly in California through their ventures, which involved selling stories about the royal family and allegations of racism in the UK. However, it appears she was mistaken. Well, that wraps up today's video. Thank you so much for watching our video, and I want to know what you think about these issues. Please express your opinion in the comments below. Hope you will always be cheerful and happy. Don't forget to support us by liking, sharing, and subscribe to the King YouTube channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.